Hi guys, it's 2024 here. Um, guys, I'm coming to you today uh, because I'm going to be washing my hair. Yes, it's in the middle of the week and I just feel like washing my hair. Um, I must say that prior to this, I used to wash my hair um, probably twice a week usually but since my schedule is so busy and most of my evenings are either at work or at school mostly school I haven't had time to do it two times a week because I sometimes come in very late from school and stuff so um, I had the uh, twist in from um, when I did my hair on Saturday I believe uh, when I went to the movies and I let the twist out and it's looking a little bit shabby it's okay um, it's just that and I had used the Shea Am Amla butter from Afroveda and that's my least favorite butter because it doesn't give me the hold that I need typically I don't think I'd repurchase that I have ordered other butter since but I have not reordered the um, Shea Amla butter because of that reason. So anyway, continuing the series of the products revisited, today I'm going to actually use this as a leave-in, the Garnier Fruit Teeth Curls and Shine Leave-In Treatment. I'm going to use this as a leave-in. Um, I had this earlier on in my journey. Um, yeah, I think I used up down to here and this was very, very, very early in my natural journey when dry scab hair was a problem for me and I think I might have used it once. I didn't think it helped and um, so now I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to certainly use this. Um, it's uh, a leave-in treatment rich in nutritive fruit micro oils that penetrate deep into the hair to nourish and moisturize it intensely treatment coats the hair fiber to add definition and structure to curly hair while eliminating frizz and I'm going to follow that up um, with the beyond the zone noodle head so I'm going to give two products a try so this we can call this products revisited three and four the um, noodle head Curl, curling cream. I'm going to use this for a twist out to, to do my twist, to set my twist as a styling um, agent. So yeah, I'm going to use that. So these are the products I'm going to use. I'm just going to co-wash today. I'm not going to shampoo because I plan on doing that um, doing my wash again this weekend on Saturday more than lightly. So this time I'm just going to use my Tresemme Curl Moisturizing Curl Moisturizing Conditioner. Okay guys, um, I must say, you know what guys, I kind of was thinking about something this week. I have been seeing that I'm going to trim my hair. So what I did, I wanted to get it professionally done. And I called up my trusty stylist from my relaxer days. He's an excellent hairstylist. He, my hair was in the, its best form when I used to relax, when he used to handle my hair. And he is the one who I would trust completely to give me a thorough trim. Now, I called him up and bared my soul about the heat damage and stuff. And I wanted to find out from him because of my fears I wanted to know how he would go about trimming my hair in its natural state and he said he would more than likely he would more likely have to straighten it to get a precise trim an adequate trim um, I obviously I'm very concerned about that and you know I told him about the heat damage and he kind of assured me that you know give my hair some time it might come back it should um, because according to him in his own words, hair has memory. So he's saying like during the summertime when it's more humid and stuff, my hair hopefully should snap back. So what I was explaining to him was that I need maybe be on a trim, a cut for my hair to look decent to kind of equalize the stuff that's going on here. And he said he wouldn't necessarily want to take all of that my hair off because of the few areas that were damaged. He would definitely just trim it and shape it up for me 
and um, you know it just got me to thinking that since I've become natural I am less um, what would you say now I am less less prompt in doing my regular trim I used to get my hair trimmed religiously every two or three months and I think or fear of doing that or my fear of doing that is because our hair suffers so much from shrinkage we don't want to get like a, a good thorough trimming that would you know deduct from what we already have because most of the time when we style our hair it shrinks up so much what do you guys think you know based on when you were relaxed um, I just know that I've slacked off regularly that's why I cannot I really cannot tolerate like straggly ends I can't because that's something that I never used to really have because I used to always get my trims promptly um, do you think that we don't take care of our hair like that I know we do dusting and stuff but sometimes dusting isn't enough depending on the extent of um, the damage to our ends or not even damage like just the state that our ends are in um, I have no fears about trimming my hair because when I used to do that when it was relaxed it really thrived I mean I think my hair grew the more it got trimmed the more it grew so do you find that you guys you guys as naturals are more hesitant to get your trimming done regularly in order to retain length let me know guys because this is something I have been thinking about and I I was you know actually saying to myself you know that is the only possible explanation for me not getting my trim trimming done Besides the fact that there is nobody really to trim it like a natural hair salon. Um, I know I could find one but you know there are just so many horror stories about that sort of thing. Um, he is an excellent profession. He deals with all kinds of hair. Um, I have been back to him since I have been natural for, um, I don't remember, for color initially when I chopped my hair off um, two years ago and um, he did an excellent color on my hair and stuff but um, he actually works magic on my hair I really love when he does my hair and he's the only person I trust to kind of cut my hair in a way that will flatter me he knows exactly how to cut my hair to suit my hair right now because what he would do is just like some long layers but back to what I was saying guys um, do you find that you're hesitant to do your trims um, you know, dusting, I think, is adequate for some, but for some people, depending on the state of your end, it's not adequate. It's for me, I'm just, that's my opinion. That's just not enough to have your hair looking healthy and your ends. And then when you do trim them properly, then you can restore what you have now, the healthy ends that you have. Because please remember, people, the ends of your hair is the oldest part. So you have to keep that. Eventually, that has to go at some point. And if you don't keep it well, like seal your ends. And I'm guilty of not sealing my ends. I don't even know how to seal my ends, really. I have an idea, but I've never really consciously did, did it so yeah um so yes guys so pretty much this is a plethora of stuff in this video so basically it is about my products here and guys just, I just want some feedback as to how we use to take care of your hair as far as trimming it um now that you're natural versus when you were relaxed okay guys um i'll see you guys later i don't want to go over time i think i'm close to like 10 minutes but i might come back and insert when i've twisted my hair up or i'll just wait until i've done everything and tomorrow when it dries then i'll um come back to you guys with a little synopsis of the application of these two products okay guys take care and have a good week the rest of it and see you guys bye